India, which has recently grown into the world's fifth largest economy, is also actively promoting its semiconductor industry. In the meantime, China has been strongly implementing the policy of the rise of semiconductors. Last year, major countries around the world were focusing all out on strategizing in the semiconductor industry such as promoting the Chip4 Alliance, a semiconductor supply chain council led by the United States. In the midst of this, India is in the mood to challenge the Chip4 Alliance. Recently, according to Indian media such as NDTV, Apple's largest partner, Taiwan's Foxconn, and Indian Energy and Steel conglomerate Vedanta have agreed to invest $18.64 billion in building a semiconductor plant in Ahmedabad, Gujarat, Western India. The two companies plan to build display production facilities along with semiconductor factories through the joint venture. Anil Agarwal, chairman of Vedanta, said we plan to start producing semiconductors and displays within two years and said that it will create more than 100,000 jobs. Gujarat is also the hometown of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. In July of last year, Singapore's IGSS Venture signed a Memorandum of Understanding MOU with the state government to promote the establishment of a semiconductor plant in the southern state of Tamil Nadu. Singaporean IGSS Ventures' investment in establishing a semiconductor plant in India is $3.1 billion. In May of last year, the International Semiconductor Consortium ISMC, announced plans to invest $2.77 billion to build a semiconductor factory in Karnataka, southern India. In the meantime, the Indian semiconductor market has not shown much presence due to the weak domestic manufacturing ecosystem. Semiconductor manufacturing requires a complex combination of large-scale investment, advanced technology, sufficient water, clean air, and uninterrupted power supply, and it was not easy to build such infrastructure in India. For this reason, India has focused on research and development, R&D, and design rather than semiconductor manufacturing. Even though it has excellent engineers and information technology, IT capabilities. The global semiconductor market is expected to grow from nearly $600 billion last year to nearly $800 billion in 2026, but India's semiconductors have not been produced domestically. However, this atmosphere changed drastically when the Modi government took office in 2014. The Modi government implemented policies to revitalize the domestic manufacturing industry, such as Make in India and introduced measures such as easing foreign direct investment, FDI, regulations and opening the market. 
in particular, it has also announced an incentive support plan worth 10 billion US dollars to build a semiconductor and display manufacturing ecosystem. Kanishika Chohan, the senior research analyst at Gartner, a global market research firm, said all electronic products from automobiles to TVs, laptops, and mobile phones use semiconductors. Please click the like button, write a comment, and click the subscribe button. Thank you. Therefore, if the policy to attract semiconductor manufacturing is implemented in a timely manner, and related companies are attracted to India, it will be of great help to India as a whole. However, the prevailing view is that there will be many obstacles for India to achieve clear results. In a situation where semiconductor manufacturing experience is short and infrastructure is poor, in fact, China has also set a goal of increasing its semiconductor self-sufficiency rate, which has been only 10 to 30 percent since President Xi Jinping came to power, to 70 percent by 2025. Despite such a huge investment, it seems that China's goal will be difficult to achieve due to problems of corruption and inefficiency. China has been investing huge amounts of money to nurture semiconductor companies to catch up with Samsung Electronics in Korea and TSMC in Taiwan but it is difficult to find success stories yet. According to a report by the Wall Street Journal, the Chinese government set a goal of raising the self-sufficiency rate of semiconductors consumed in the country to 70% by 2025, but the actual self-sufficiency rate is still less than 20%. The Wall Street Journal pointed out that on analysis of corporate announcements, Chinese state media reports and local government documents revealed that at least six large-scale semiconductor manufacturing projects in China have failed over the past three years. Funding for these projects was at least $2.3 billion, mostly from the government. However, it was reported that most companies were unable to make even a single semiconductor. In the case of Wuhan Hongxin Semiconductor Manufacturing Co., HSMC, it was stranded without being able to get anywhere near production. Even though tens or hundreds of billions of dollars were invested due to recklessness and moral luxury. Tsinghua Unit, which started to purchase pre-existing semiconductor companies rather than securing technological power eventually changed its owners through a bankruptcy restructuring program and is cited as a representative failure. Semiconductor manufacturing requires huge capital investment, complex and intensive technology, and the involvement of hundreds of related companies. Experts say semiconductor production requires millions of liters of clean water, reliable power supplies, and highly skilled labor. So, experts have pointed out that the financial support envisioned 
by the Indian government seems to require additional supplementation. Semiconductors are absolutely essential products for high-tech industry and many products. From simply electrical appliances such as TVs, refrigerators, and washing machines to cell phones, automobiles, and artificial intelligence. In particular, semiconductors are absolutely necessary for advanced weapons which is one of the main reasons why the United States is blocking semiconductor technology in China. Most Americans think of China and Russia as America's greatest enemies, according to the latest economist Hugo Paul. The United States and the West are putting pressure on China because it is nearly certain that China will challenge U.S. hegemony use semiconductors to produce advanced weapons and use them against the United States and the West. For any country in the world to become a great power, semiconductor technology is becoming an essential element. And last year, even a semiconductor alliance was formed. The four country semiconductor alliance, a cooperation system between the United States, Korea, Japan and Taiwan was formed in 2022 under the leadership of the United States. The United States is in charge of design, equipment, and source technology. Korea is responsible for memory semiconductor production. Japan is responsible for materials and parts and Taiwan is responsible for non-memory semiconductor production. The goal of the system is stable production and supply of semiconductor between partner countries. However, the actual goal is to curb the outflow of semiconductor technology and the supply of semiconductors to hostile countries. As a country that pursues democracy and a free market economy, India is a country that can produce and develop semiconductors as much as possible. and the United States hope that India will build an infrastructure capable of producing semiconductors as soon as possible and play a major role in the prosperity of the Indian people and all of humanity. Please click the like button, write a comment, and click the subscribe button. Thank you. Soon. India will overtake China to become a country with a population of over 1.4 billion and the world's fifth largest economy. The United States and the West want to actively help India to invest in, nurture, and succeed in the semiconductor industry. I hope that the Indian government will quickly meet the complex requirements for semiconductor manufacturing, such as sufficient water, clean air, and uninterrupted power supply. India has a lot of young and talented people who have the ability to succeed in the semiconductor field, so unlike China, it will be able to succeed in the near future. So India's future is bright and very hopeful. Thank you for watching the video, India's Semiconductor Promotion Policy, provided by History and Current Events. 
I'm Rebecca, Olivia, Mia, April, Lydia, Julia, and Tony have contributed so far as narrators. Thank you.